Hey YouTube, this is Snowman, Lead Airsoft Geek. Um, doing another video. Guess it's time to put one another another one up there. Haven't done one in a while. So noticed you guys uh viewed my last range, how to ranger video quite a bit. So I decided to pop another one up here and uh do the seal gig. Um so yeah, here goes. So I'm just gonna do a basic overview. Not really every detailed piece of kit, but just every, just the basics, like not really the basics, but like minimalist for an impression, I guess. So I'll just start off head to toe and then do the guns, um, and yeah. Okay, for your head, you're looking at uh, helmets, and um, you're going to be looking for the Mitch TC-2000, the Mitch TC-2001. Um, you're also going to be looking for... Opscore fasts, um, the ballistic models. You're going to be looking for uh, cry airframes too. Um, cry airframes and Opscore fasts are becoming really popular with a bunch of special operations forces guys. Um, kicking out the old Mitches and just taking the reins. Um, for accessories, you're going to want a bunch of SNS stuff. SNS precision makes uh, the Manta strobes and the V lights. Look for those. The uh, EB Airsoft has replicas, I think. Um, for night vision goggle mounts, you're going to be looking for the Wilcox L4G24. That's for the uh, fast helmet. And you're also going to be looking for the L2G05 and the L3G12 for uh, the all the other helmets. So you're going to be looking for three hole mounts. Um, and to tie in with that, you're also going to be look, you can also look for the Narotos three hole shroud. Moving on, comms, uh, for a headset you're going to be looking for MSA Swordens, Peltor Compact 2s, or Peltor Compact 3s, maybe some Compact 4s in there too, probably by now. Um, so Lynx C4 Ops, that's kind of a pricey headset, a couple grand in there for investors. Um, and you've got a bunch of other headsets I guess, it's not really that specific. Um, Eyewear, it's kind of general. Uh, looking for Oakley, Revision, ESS, and Smith Optics Elite. Um, apparently the Smith goggles are pretty good. Um, Oakley glasses are probably the most popular. Uh, moving on, plate carriers, you're going to be looking for the LBT6094 um, in khaki or AOR1 and AOR2. Um, AOR1 is going to be pretty much the most common out there, yes, it's also the most pricey. AOR2 is less common, but still for some reason less expensive, and khaki you can buy new um, for kind of cheap, less than 400 bucks. Uh, other plate carriers, you can look for the BAE, the Bay Eclipse RBAV, the RBAV. Um, it's an updated version of the Cyrus, I guess. Uh, I tried one on myself, it beat the crap out of the Cyrus, really. Also, you can look for cry cage plate carriers, um, the CPC. You can also look for cage chassis and JPCs, all made by cry. Um, JPCs are getting really common, but they're also a pain. actually all the cry carriers are a pain to source because everybody wants them, and cry doesn't have a huge staff on hand to make do. Um, you're going to be looking for Eagle DPCs, which is pretty much an Eagle copy of the uh, LBT 6094. Um, and you can also look for BDS carriers, and um, actually, you can pretty much anything new. Um, you can check up on it, do a little research on it, see if it works, and if it does, it works. Uh, moving on, they uh, run chest carriers, uh, chest rigs too. Um, usually run over 6094 slicks, um, made by LBT. They're pretty much 6094s without molly on the front um, that you can run a chest rig over. The chest rigs that are usually most seen are the uh, 1961s and the 2586s, both made by LBT. You got a ton of different models for both of those, so just look it up and nab it. And khaki, multicam, AOR, or yeah, AOR. Um, also, the LBT 6094, you can get that in multicam too. Um, clothing wise, or pouches wise, you're going to be looking for Devgrew LCS, MLCS pouches, those are pretty much khaki 
Um, it's kind of the older set of stuff that they use, but um, newer, newer wise, they've got Eagle AOR1 and Eagle AOR2 stuff, and you've got LBT AOR1 and AOR2 stuff, and some of the guys are getting Cry AOR1. Uh, I don't know if Cry makes AOR2. I haven't really seen any of it, so wouldn't know. Um, AOR West, AOR stuff is pretty expensive. You can find copies of it on uh, EB Airsoft and other Chinese retailers. Clothing-wise, you're going to be looking for Cry Combats and Navy Fatigues in AOR 1, AOR 2, Multicam. Um, Patagonia PCU Level 9s are pretty much uh, different versions of the Cry um, Combat Pants and Shirts. It's Patagonia's run on things. Wild Things makes the... Uh, like layer system, I guess it's also it's like the PCUs except a little better, I think, from what I've heard. Beyond Tactical makes uh, weird sizes for the Cries and Patagonia level nines. Uh, Beyond Tactical level nines. Um, they also use the old BDUs, DCUs. Some still use PCUs, and pretty much anything Arc'teryx you can get and use as long actually anything made by Arc'teryx leaf. Law enforcement armed forces. Um, footwear, you're going to be looking for Aslo, Salomon, Danner, Belleville, Merrill, pretty much any hiking boot or 6 inch, 8 inch military boot you can get away with. Um, guns, you're going to be looking for Mark 18, Mod 1s, and Mod 0s, um, Mark 17s, um, so Scar H's, Mark 20s, which is the Scar H sniper rifle, um, Mark 46s, Mark 48s, which are the saw and M240 variants respectively. Um, the M110 which is the uh, sniper rifle looks like an SR25 almost not quite. And for sidearms you're going to be looking for SIG 226s. Uh, again this is a newer setup um, for the most recent years probably like I don't know 2009 to present. Um, this is pretty loose list it's not an exact impression but this is like the base model stuff that you're going to be looking for. Uh, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and pop them in the comments. Uh, don't forget to rate and subscribe. Um, and if you have any other questions, go ahead and send me a PM. Also check in the uh, description for a link to my Facebook page. And don't forget to like that as well. Um, yeah.